Good morning, everybody, on this Friday, September 11th. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. It's my husband and I's 21st wedding anniversary today. And just like every other major occurrence in 2020, there's really not much we can do to celebrate it. Um, normally on our anniversary, if we don't go away or do something like out, we would take the day off and hang out at home together, just the two of us. But we have two sons and they're both here today. Friday is the only day that Nicholas does not go into school. He does remote learning on Fridays. That's how our school district's doing it. So he's done three classes so far. He's technically on lunch right now for another 20 minutes or so, and then he's got to go on to his next class. Um, <clears throat> uh, but he's around and Neil's around. Neil's in class right now too. He's in class from 11 to 12 and then one to two, he's on class. Um, so even like just within the last couple of years during the week when we, when we have our anniversaries, not on Fridays or Saturdays or Sundays, we would still like take the day off together and go to breakfast or whatever, just the two of us. And we really don't have that option this year. And like hang out all day, you know, at home. But I said to John, I was like, after dinner, you want to go to Costco? <laughs> We've not been to Costco since March. I bought it a year's membership back in December and we've only gone twice because of all the stuff hitting the fan with coronavirus and plus Costco is a half an hour away from us whereas Sam's Club is only 15 minutes from us so we go to Sam's Club um and John's like why do you want to go to Costco and number one the restaurant we're going to is right down the street from Costco and number two like I John or Neil was asking us what are you guys going to do for your anniversary and we're like go to Costco I said that and Neil's like, you're going to Costco for your wedding anniversary. I'm like, well, what else could we do? Everything's closed. Movie theaters are closed. Bars are closed. I mean, literally anything. Uh, we could go for a hike. You want to go for a hike, babe? Sure. Sure. It's already, like I said, it's 1130. So we're our lunch or our dinner reservations at 530. But like everything is still partially shut down like we could go shopping stores are open but and the other option i even said was maybe we you know we could go to the drive-in theater which we do have a couple of drive-in theaters actually near us um but that's it like we can't go to a movie like we could go to a hotel and hang out too that's one of the things that i've still thrown around the idea of is just get, to get away from the kids and have a kids free night but it's just one of those things where we're still in Corona land, you know, there's just not a lot of options, uh, to do things today. Um, there's just not a lot of options. So our 21st wedding anniversary is not going to be very exciting. Actually, what I should do is probably call and schedule our, our trip for Florida in December. Um, our timeshare that we booked, um, for this year. I haven't done that yet. I probably should do that, but anywho, I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> but it's just one of those things where there's just not a lot open here in Pennsylvania. There's not a lot of entertainment or, you know, we've gone away for weekends before and I didn't really want to do that because we are literally considering, well, we are, I, we're going to an auction next Saturday to possibly buy a house. And the last thing I want to do is spend, you know, 500 bucks or a thousand dollars going away for the weekend and then you know buying a house next weekend <laughs> um it's just one of those things you know uh, especially since we haven't sold this house because i'm not going to sell this house until i have a house that i like because i don't know maybe it's just me i don't want to be homeless so and i know that you can sell your house and make it contingent on you finding a house but with the market right now, the way it is and how slim pickings there are, how many, like there's just not a lot of houses right now on the market, especially not if you're saying that like, I, like I want a minimum an acre and I have been looking on line for houses with a minimum an acre. And literally right now, I think I've got like five school districts. The one website I've been looking at, it's called bright MLS. 
I'm looking at that that website and I can put it in by school district. So I think I've got five school districts in right now and one acre and I can't even say no HOA. So like that doesn't even give me that option to, to sort by that. But I have a minimum of an acre, residential homes in those five school districts. There are literally, I think 20 properties currently on the market right now. Um, even like some of the ones we were considering are have sold or have been removed. There was one house that we were looking at that just removed, just stopped being sold. It's, it's, it didn't sell. It's not contingent. It's just removed from the market. Um, so there just aren't a lot of options. And the last thing I want to do is sell my house within a couple of days and then have nowhere to go. So I would like to purchase a property and then get all my stuff moved out and put it on the market and hopefully sell it within a month or two. So that would be the goal. But like I said, if we, instead of going away this weekend, spending like 500 or a thousand dollars, um, uh, you know, I'm going to be having two house payments for a little while. So there's that. Anyhow, happy Friday. I've lost a couple of pounds over the last couple of days, which makes me happy. Um, however, I am going to be eating dessert tonight and potatoes tonight. The potatoes aren't as big a deal as the sugar is, but I'm going to be eating sugar tonight. A lot of sugar because I'm going to be eating a piece of pie and I might get some ice cream too. So it's just one of those things where I'm going to be eating not like terribly like I'm not doing a whole day of nothing but carbs because I didn't I didn't eat breakfast and for lunch I had a normal lunch for me a chicken salad quesadilla and a salad so it's a, a typical lunch for me um so that's not you know I didn't eat a ton of carbs at lunchtime um so it's not like I'm you know just carb loading today um but for dinner I'm definitely gonna be eating sugar so not a ton. I'm planning on having a steak with probably potatoes, a salad, and a veggie. I think is like their 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 meal is a main dish, a potato, a veggie, and then a salad is like their main their meal. Um, and then I'll probably have dessert, assuming they have peanut butter pie available. I'll probably have dessert. And then um, I remember not loving their peanut butter pie though, to be honest. Um, and then maybe go get some ice cream after that, like a couple hours after that, because we'll be done with dinner by like seven, um, maybe 6.30. I don't know, our reservation's at 5.30. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Buttercup's over there sitting on the floor. Wednesday's sitting right here beside me. But Buttercup is over there on the floor for some reason. Oh no, she might have left. No, she's there, she's there. I don't know. Neil's in his room on class, Nick's upstairs on his class, so. I told him if we buy this house next week, um, one of the tables that I have, one of the desks that I have upstairs are, is going to go in his bedroom and he will have a desk in his bedroom in the new house for him to work at. So, yep. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm ch chasing my husband around the house. We were in the living room together. He came back here. So I came back here and now he's in the living room again. So I'm going to go out there. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Well, you guys, it is about 9.40 in the evening, and I have not talked to you since this morning, and my hair is a wreck. <sighs> it's been not a very long day, but my hair is pulled back because we've had a couple of things go wrong this evening. Um, but my hair is very fluffy because John and I were running around, and I kept putting my hat on with my face shield, so my hair is just a big mess. Anyway, um... Let me catch you up. John and I just kind of hung out all afternoon. Literally just hung out like we were watching TV together. And then we went shopping. I wanted to try to find a oil lantern. I have Nick beside me. We're going to talk about what? we're going we're gonna to talk about Nick here in a couple minutes. Oh, God. But I wanted to find an oil lantern. So we went to like a couple of thrift stores. And find we couldn't an find an oil lantern, lantern anywhere. We ended up at Hobby Lobby. Long story short, we ended up ho at Hobby Lobby. I found an oil lantern. They only had one. And then I bought the lantern and I bought some oil and I bought a couple of wicks. Uh, like backup, like replacement wicks. 
because I've was, not burned an oil lantern before on a regular basis, so I don't know how quickly lantern? the wicks go. Um, you want to see an oil lantern? I'll show you an oil lantern. Okay. Um, but we went to dinner. It was delicious. Where did you I had went? peanut butter pie. We went to a restaurant. Let me guess. You went to the expensive one? We did go to an expensive one, yes. Did you went to Fios? No. Um, so John and I went to din dinner and... Did you um, went to... Hold on, babe. So, um, I mean, the lantern I, I found was like oh. 20 bucks. It wasn't like expensive. Never yeah, pretty much the one I bought looks like this, except it's blue. Hey. So, I probably paid too much for it. What website is this? Coal Imports. Oh, they have, I don't know if it's the same size or not. But, <laughs> I paid $20 for one. This is $6 for one. Anyway. Um, I don't, I, I don't know, but I think you have to buy, you have to buy a minimum of four. And I need to buy a minimum of two. Anyway, long story short, I bought, uh, an oil lantern. I should have looked at Walmart. I didn't look at Walmart. I don't know if you can buy them in store. Pickup not available. Kerosene oil lanterns. Maybe I'll order these from Walmart. They're $12 for two. Um, anyway, long story short, we went to Hobby Lobby, because that was... Hobby uh, Lobby? Yeah. We also stopped at Costco. Exciting things on our wedding anniversary. Costco and Hobby Lobby. Okay. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby because that was, um, near the, near the Costco. We probably should have went to Michael's. There's a Michael's right down the street from our, our house right here. Um, maybe I'll go to Michael's tomorrow and check out Michaels. if they have any. Yeah, Michael's. Oh, I thought you were saying it was a, um... You know, um, a restaurant. No, no. Yeah, um, so maybe we'll go down to Michael's later today or tomorrow to see if there's a, that they sell, um, oil lanterns. Maybe I can find one for less than $20 and return the other one to Hobby Lobby. Anyway, I wanted an oil lantern. Why so I got an oil lantern. lantern. That was my anniversary present to myself, was an oil lantern. We went to Costco's. We bought some more shelf-stable almond milk, um, both van unsweetened vanilla and unsweetened regular. Um, we bought some chicken broth. We bought some Q-tips. We bought some dental floss. Exciting stuff at Walmart, or at Costco tonight. Then we came home. Oh, no. Please don't. Please don't tell me you're going to say it. We were locked out of the house. Oh, God. By someone that we love very much. And now you probably hate him. And I do not hate him. Nicholas conflates being angry with hating. We tried to explain to him that we do not hate him in any way, shape, or form. We love him very much. But we are angry with him because he locked us out of the house. Because it's not the first time he's locked us out of the house. It was like... It's, you've done that times. You've done that a handful of times, Nicholas. You, no, I did it like a bunch of times. And... Like there's no stop with the neck. He gets it in his head that he needs to lock the door to the garage when... The only thing I felt, I felt like that feeling because of the, what happens if someone was spying on us and they know what the password was. So I only did that for... Nick thinks that somebody's going to break in. Uh, you're not going to like that on that view. No, we got home at 8 o'clock. It's not like we got home late. We got home at 8 o'clock. Speaking of that, I have not made any vlogs live today, so I'm I'm edited up through the 9th for the vlog. I just haven't uploaded. I think 7 is probably uploaded now, just not live. Um, anyway, yeah. So we got a nickel here who was very upset because we were angry with him. If you can hear my belly digesting, my belly is digesting right now. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. But my stomach is gargling underneath the camera. Because we, I ate way too much. Way too much. And I even brought most of my steak home. 
Did you buy biscuits? No, I ate all the biscuits. You I ate all the biscuits. I ate all of my baked potato. Oh, I love baked potatoes. Uh, I do not have mashed potatoes. I, ha I do like mashed potatoes, but I really like baked potatoes. I didn't used to like baked potatoes, but I, I've liked them more and more as I've gotten older. Um, <clears throat> I ate the carbs today. I did eat ice cream like earlier that. today. Uh -huh. Oh, and then I had mozzarella sticks, and then a salad, oh, a baked oh. potato, and a steak, and then a piece of How peanut butter pie. How many baked potatoes do you need? I had one baked potato. Okay. So, like, seriously, like, so I had a bunch of sugar today. How many baked potatoes do you actually need? Which means my blood sugar is going to be running high probably for the next two days, because it usually takes about two days for my body to process it all out and go back to normal. Excuse me. Um. Sorry, I had actually had. Um, Nick made noise over there. Sorry, I actually had I actually had linguini, and then me, Neil made the same thing when he had linguini. He made the same thing. You had uh, Alfredo sauce, though, right? Yes, I had Alfredo sauce. Was it good Alfredo sauce? It was. Yeah. It was spicy. Spicy. Yeah, he made it spicy. Oh, well, I think that's going to be it for today's vlog. Nicholas is no longer sad. We're eight days away from uh, buying a house. Just right, Nick? Eight days from buying a house. I just seriously feel like snot. Like what? I seriously feel like dry snot all over my nose. It's under my nose. Actually. Oh, Nick was crying quite a bit. Not quite Nick, a bit. Nick, I was crying like for like a lot. Nicholas is trying to learn how to admit when he is has done something and apologize for it. We're working on that. We're working on that. So, you want to close out the vlog? Sure. You gonna look over here? As long as I. Oh, don't... before we do that, today I'm thankful for my husband on our 21st wedding anniversary. I'm thankful for him. All right, go ahead, hit it. I hope today's. I went. I hope yesterday was better than today, and I hope tomorrow will be like way, way, way better. Just all right well we hope you're all having a great day and we'll see you tomorrow we'll see you guys tomorrow i'm sorry this is bye